Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making an Amish peanut butter bread, starting off with a two cups of flour, to which I'm going to add four teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a half of a cup of sugar. Once those are stirred together, I'll set them over to the side just for a minute, long enough to mix one cup of milk with a two-thirds cup of peanut butter. Once these have been thoroughly incorporated, it gets added right into our dry ingredients. Once those come together, it gets added into a loaf pan that's been sprayed with cooking spray and lined with a little bit of parchment paper. Once it's been spread evenly across the loaf pan, it goes into a 350 degree oven where it'll bake for about 45 to 50 minutes. When the bread came out of the oven, I allowed it to sit on the counter in the pan for about five minutes before removing it and allowing it to cool for about an hour on a wire rack. Now all I have left to do is try it out. And I think I'm gonna try it without any of the butter and jelly on it. I wanna see if I can get like the true flavor of it before I try it with all the additional add-ons. I definitely am getting the flavor of peanut butter here. I like it better with the, the jam and the butter than I do by itself. Though I think this would be really good with some cream cheese also. I'm also getting like little hints of the baking powder and I don't know if the recipe just called for too much or if I didn't quite get it stirred in enough. It could be part user error, it could be part recipe writer's error. Overall, it's okay. Um, I think I might actually search for a better peanut butter bread recipe and maybe revisit this one again in the future. But that is going to be it for me for the day. If you've enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I'm Ben Walker. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.